Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to take a look at the Blitz Evo from Azoden. Um, it's going to come in three different colors. We'll open up the box, you can see what's inside. We'll open this one up. This is the purple and uh, lime version. So we've got our instruction manual, warranty card, barrel sleeve, and repair parts and Allen keys. Gun and barrel. So we've got your standard Azoden 12 inch ported barrel. We've got twist lock feed neck, just as all the way off. It does have this collared insert. So if I can pop this out of here. I should put it back in there. This collared insert in here, as you twist this down onto the feed neck itself, it will squeeze the insert and the insert will then squeeze onto the feed neck or whatever you've got in there to hold it tightly in place. Got the quick release bolt, pin pops up, slides out your Delrin bolt. You want to make sure that you do not pull the pin all the way out of the bolt. You'll lose the bearing inside and your bolt will no longer snap into place. Back in there. Velocity adjustment is done through the back of the gun, just like in a standard Azodens. Uh, clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease velocity. We do have anti-chop eye systems, and this is going to hold your detent in place as well. Dual, be dual detents on both sides. Uh, anti-chop eyes, for those of you who don't know, the electronic eye systems will help uh, eliminate or alleviate the problem of chopping paint at high rates of fire. Uh, when the ball drops all the way down into the breech, the eyes sense or detect the ball being in the breech, and that will allow the gun to shoot. When the eyes are on, the gun will only shoot if there's paint in the gun. When the eye system is off, then it will only shoot, uh, well, it will shoot regardless of what's in the system or in the gun. So if you pull the trigger with the eyes off, it's going to shoot, whether it be a paintball, your finger, whatever is inside there. So be very careful if you have your eyes off, and you're more likely to chop paint. So always try to shoot your gun with the eyes on. Um, all the adjustments are done through the backside here on this screen. Uh, we've got a couple different buttons here. You've got your on off button, uh, your eyes on off button, and uh, your safety on and off button. And those buttons will also let you enter programming modes and let you switch through all your modes. Uh, it does come in or with a couple different firing modes, semi-automatic, PSP, Millennium, and Full Auto. Uh, the semi-automatic has a cap of 20 balls per second. Both the PSP and the Millennium are 12.5, and the full auto, I believe, is at 10. Now, the modes are adjustable. You can change the modes in this gun, but you cannot change the rate of fire on these guns. Um, I believe there's a special programming device that some of your retailers will have uh, that can, but as uh, if you were just to buy this gun, you will not be able to change the balls per second in those firing modes. They are preset. Regulator at the front. Um, this is a true regulator adjusted through the bottom right here. Now, obviously this kind of gun right here is going to work best on an HPA system, compressed nitrogen system. It will run on CO2. I don't recommend it. Uh, your output or your just uh, reliability and how the gun works will vary tremendously using CO2. Don't recommend it. Always run a compressed air system or a compressed nitrogen system. Um, ASA ha does have the on-off at the bottom to help degas the gun and gas up the gun, makes removal of the tank much easier. And on the Blitz Evo, does have the macro line system, which uh, I enjoy. I, I think it's much better than a hard line or a steel braided line system, because if ever that goes bad, it's very easy to replace your macro line. You pop it out quick uh, and then put it back together. Make sure those are both in there. It's that easy. You can take this piece out, pull it out, replace the line, and then put it back together. You don't have to unscrew it. You don't have to do anything or deal with it, re-Teflon it, or, um, or uh, Loctite it together. Very easy to remove the and replace the hosing, and it's cheap. It's like a dollar a foot, dollar fifty a foot, so you can't go wrong with that. Uh, the Blitz Evo does come in, in, like I said, a couple different colors. This is the purple lime that we have here. Also comes in a red and black, as well as the all black. 
So this has been a look at the Blitz Evo from Azoden. Order yours now at ansgear.com.